Hi, and welcome to the Physics 3 Tutor, and here we're going to basically pick up right where we stopped in the last section. I want to work a few more problems with capacitors in series and parallel, but I felt like it was good to go ahead and break it here, give you some time to digest the material from before, have a few you know problems that are a little more simple, and then here we'll get into uh, some different problems. I don't want to say that these are really a whole lot more complicated, they're just different than uh, you may have to do a little bit more thinking to figure out what to do. So the first problem in this section goes like this. A capacitor C1 of 6 microfarads is in series with a capacitor C2, which is 4 microfarads, and a potential difference of 200 volts is applied across these two capacitors in series. All right. Part A, there's three parts to this problem. Part A, what is the equivalent capacitance of this arrangement? Part B, what is the charge on each capacitor? And part C, what is the potential difference across each capacitor? So we want to find what is the equivalent capacitance of this arrangement, what is the charge on each one of these capacitors, and the third part is what is the potential difference, which is the voltage, across each of these capacitors. So, just like I always say, it's important to draw a picture. So we have two capacitors and they're in series. So we have this guy, and there's a voltage source here, V, and that goes here. And so I'm going to draw a little bubbles here just to remind you that what we're basically going to be doing, this is connected, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to find an equivalent circuit here first. So looking up at these two in series, we're going to have a different circuit. Now, um, this value, this capacitor, C sub 1, is 6 microfarads, and then C sub 2 is 4 micro. So those are the values, and the voltage is 200 volts. Those are all given to you in the problem. So capacitor, 6 microfarads in series with another capacitor, 4 microfarads, okay, we did that. Potential difference of 200 is applied across these two in series, okay, we did that. First part, what is, what is the equivalent capacitance? Well, these are in series, so we learned that for an equivalent capacitor in series, it's just 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. And that is equal to not, it's not equal to the equivalent capacitor, it's equal to 1 over the equivalent capacitor. So this is going to be equal to 1 over this capacitance here, 6 times 10 to the minus 6, plus 1 over this capacitor, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 6, because they're both microfarads. And then when we continue on down the line, uh, 1 over the equivalent capacitor is going to be equal to, when we evaluate this in our calculator, 1 over 6 times 10 to the minus 6, you're going to get 1.66 times 10 to the 5 plus, and when we evaluate this in our calculator, it'll be 2.5 times 10 to the positive 5. So we can add these two guys together. So 1 over equivalent capacitor, when we add them together, we'll get 4.16 times 10 to the 5. Now that's not the answer because that's equal to 1 over the equivalent capacitance. In order to find the equivalent capacitance, we take this number and we say 1 divided by this number because we do 1 divided by this, that's going to make equivalent capacitance pop up by itself. On the right hand side we have to say 1 over this. So we'll say 1 over 4.16 times 10 to the 5, which is equal to 2.4 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And of course, we don't like to leave things in farads. We write it as 2.4 microfarads. All right, so we, we did that. 2.4 microfarads. Part A is complete. We have two capacitors. We have them in series. We go through the math, which is